I didn't honestly feel like I was so free out there, but obviously looking at the runs I got and the balls I faced, it was a nice knock and I'm very, very pleased that I contributed and got us into a winning position. Um, it was a tough wicket to get in on and honestly I had to take some risks out there and it's one of those things that it's a funny old game, sometimes your risks pay off, sometimes not. In the last game I got a duck. It's a terrible feeling and I didn't sleep well, but um, bounced back nicely now for the team and everyone played well. There's a lot of individuals that put their hands up tonight and I'm very proud of the team. We've been very blessed this tournament to see some incredible batting and today is right up there with last. 73 not out of 33 when everyone else has looked like it was hard work to bat on. To do that and to get us to 194 was just incredible so fantastic to watch. It was a ruthless batting display. <laughs> Very good. Let's get Yes. That's good. 2,000 sprints. <laughs> 3,000 runs between the wickets. My legs are sore. <laughs> we saw once again another masterclass today from A.B. de Villiers. I mean, everyone else struggled on that. He came out and just timed it from ball one. So he was, you know, he was a big difference. AB was extraordinary. That's uh, I've been on the receiving end of a few of their innings, and it's, it's nice to be on the same team as him for once. It's uh, he showed he's as good a player as anyone in the world. He can hit it anywhere on a wicket that not many players found it easy to score. Yeah, it was outstanding, wasn't it? I think um, we knew it was going to be a big game. Obviously, we're playing for you know joint top spot um, in against a team obviously that's coming in with some good form and obviously a lot of dangerous players, but. I think that was probably our most complete performance so far and that's saying something because I thought you know, we were magnificent against Mumbai and, and very good the other day against CSK as well. So to back that up again and put in a performance here, which, you know, on a new wicket at Sharjah, which we hadn't played on yet. So, um, yeah, very, very happy. We're getting better, which is great. And that's, as a side, that's all we're after. But uh, once again, I thought we had assessed conditions. You know, everyone talks about Sharjah being a 220 wicket, but there was never a 220 wicket. We thought that if we could get sort of 175, 180, if we were to aim for that, then we might get a few more. We didn't want to aim for too many and then end up getting 150. You know, the last game that got played here between Delhi and Rajasthan was a bit lower scoring. It was probably about 180. So we sort of knew that we'd have to assess it on the go here tonight. Um, and then I think once we got through the first sort of power play today, the message you know, from the boys was that if we got around 170, it was a good score. Which I think at a ground like this, it's important to sum up the conditions each game, not just come here with a preconceived idea of what you think you need need to get. So uh, I, th I think we, as a, as a batting group, we, are, we communicated that really well today. So I thought the Quicks did beautifully up front with the new ball. Uh, they were aggressive, got the wicket, saying he got a big, big wicket advantage now. But I think, you know, the beauty of our spinners is they've been able to bowl under pressure throughout the tournament in the power play, outside the power play. And I think, um, you know, when Washington got uh, Rana out early on, it just created a lot of pressure on them in law and we know what Chahal can do, he's done it for many, many years. But I, I think we're really seeing the best of Washington Sundar now and his confidence is going through the roof. The skipper said that he's bowling like a dream and I just hope that the dream continues. I think he's doing a brilliant job. The length he's bowling, uh, something amazing and the rhythm is not the pace at which he's bowling it and the amount of revs he's giving on the ball, I think it's all falling in place. It's very heartening to contribute a lot for RCB and uh, Still, still a lot more games to come and hopefully we could win a lot of games and go deep into the tournament. Keep watching the ball well again, like you know, he's, in a, he's doing so well then, like you know when we come after the power play, so a little bit pressure, little less pressure on the, our side because so he bowled two overs and he got the wicket and then uh, you know it's a combined uh, performance by the bowlers and faction. 
and then Yuzi Chahal. I mean, he, um, you know, massive wicket of Dinesh Kartik. When I came here again to play like 2014, my debut here for RCB, and you know, after six years. So, yeah, it's a, always this, I have a very good memory. Look, he's, uh, he's a magnificent bowler, but I think he's a, a real competitor. And what I love about him, too, is he's a thinking cricketer. Uh, he's obviously a, a chess champion, and he takes that into the cricket field as well with, you know, the way he thinks about how he's going to set up his overs and how he's going to get guys out. And um, I think, you know, at the moment, it looks like we've got a lot of competitors out there, and obviously led by the skipper. Uh, that's all you can ask for as a coach, is that guys out there loving the contest and getting in the contest. When we turn up and bowl the way we want to bowl, it doesn't matter what the ground size is, it doesn't matter what the conditions are, it doesn't matter what the wicket's playing like, when we bowl our best to the way we bowl, you can see we're one of the best bowling units in the competition. After the power play, the game was still even. Stevens, 43 for one, they had a power pack batting lineup, and so, and we were skeptical about spinners with a smaller ground. But I think the way they bowled gave the skipper enough confidence to give them seven overs in on the go, and I think completely changed the game. It is brilliant to watch. Very happy to see the boys, the way they've bought into the idea, and uh, how they've been reacting on the field. It's been brilliant. Yeah, look, obviously it's a great feeling. Um, I think it's a great reward for all the hard work that's gone in, and I think the, the players certainly deserve that. They put a lot of hard yards in in the camp, and then obviously at the start of the tournament. I think. You know, their mindset's been and their attitude's been brilliant. Um, just, things haven't all gone to plan. You know, we've had a couple of bad losses, but I think the way we dealt with those and, and we're able to sort of regroup and, and come back uh, has been, you know, very special to see. But we also know that, you know, we're only five wins in, so there's still a lot of work to do. Um, but yeah, I think that the mood around the group's obviously very positive and that's something we'll try and continue on for the next couple of weeks. I felt great energy out there from everyone. All the eyes were on the game, on the ball. Um, which is a great sign of a team moving in the right direction. So hopefully we can build on the momentum and keep our feet on the ground and work even harder from here on forward. Um, we're halfway through the tournament now, with the pool games, and um, just one step at a time. I'm looking forward to the next game. There are not many days when you, as a captain, you feel like you don't have to say much or discuss much, and I think today was one of those days. And the biggest takeaway for me is um, we purely believed in what we can do as a team. <clears throat> if we turn up in the right mindset, then we can do this more often. And the ground size, dimensions, history about this ground, none of it mattered today purely because of our mindset. And that for me is the biggest learning for all of us today. So as long as we can stay true to that, there won't be many days where I will have to say much. <laughs> well done, well done. Pick up your bottles, please. Uh, yes, Morty. <laughs>